hello and welcome to my youtube channel welcome to not fashion hub the best fashion channel in the world so today we are going to continue with our top all right so um you see how i folded it we're going to cut the lapel for both the both sides of the shirt we're going to cut our lapel but before we do that i would want us to deal with the issue of the neck you see how the neck is slanted in the design as you can see that design right there you see the neck the the left side that is carrying the this very side now that is carrying the button is slanted inwards all right so we're going to slant that meanwhile this very piece now is going to be the piece this is the right side piece of the shirt so it's going to be inside and so we are going to make it straight at this point okay just straight we don't need it to carry any um, particular you know form of shape to be curved just straight but this left side now which is going to carry buttons this very one now that i'm folding right now that is going to carry buttons is the one that is going to take the slanty shape and you can see the v there is matching with the v of this left side you know the notch we made there there's a notch there both notch must match up and down so that you are sure that the shirt is is um is straight okay so now we're going to use our ruler and shape the left side how it's going to slant mind you this left side is the one that is carrying button it's the left side of the shirt that carries button so this is how we're going to slant it just like it is in the design we are doing it's slanted okay so we're going to slant it downwards as you can see you can slant it into as deep as you want or as high as you want there's no particular formula to that so we're going to trim it out carefully we're going to trim it out carefully all right so that's that so you can see that our left side now that is going to carry button you can see how it is now how i've slanted it all right so without wasting time the next thing we are going to do is to cut the lapels for both the left and the right hand side what is a lapel it's um a piece of fabric we are going to use to turn to turn to turn to turn it in to turn the left side in because this is like a suit okay it's looking like a suit all right so this double this crossing this double breasted um this extension here that is four inches we are going to turn it in we are not just using bias to, to turn the edges no we're using another piece of fabric which i call the lapel if you are if you are conversant to suit you understand you will, will cut it and we'll use it to turn both of the sides all right so we'll start with this left side if you are lost just follow me as i do it you understand what i'm calling the lapel just watch now it's just like lining okay if you are you are turning it in all right but we'll call the lapel all right so you can see this this is a piece i'm going to use now to turn this left side okay so i'm going to cut it out all right assuming the shape of however i want it to be now from the neck from the neck here that's i'm going to mark like two inches allowance from the neck here from the beginning of the neck i mark like two inches inside downwards after that notch you know there's a notch there we made to identify the center so i'm marking one inch away from the notch or one and a half inches it's still okay so we'll now join this point and the down point we made right there that is how we're going to shape our lapel you can call it lining mm -mm, but it's not too good call it lapel all right because it's double breasted it's double breasting okay double breasted simply means it is crossing the shirt the two parts of the shirt are crossing so i'm going to trim it out carefully this is what we use to turn this piece and we'll do the same thing with the with the right hand piece i'm not going to show us the right hand piece because i want us to save time all right so i won't show us that but the same thing i'm doing here is something i'm going to apply on the right side of the shirt so if you're enjoying this content please subscribe subscribe like the video i would really appreciate if you can do that like the video the more you like my videos the more youtube will show them for others to watch so please i appreciate if you can like my videos thank you so much so the next thing is to trim it out the same way i am doing it's quite simple and straightforward all right i didn't fast forward some of these things so that you already get them i understand 
even though I fast forward most of them. So you can see we have finished cutting our, our lapel for the left side of the shirt. You can see that this is what we're going to use to turn the edges and the neck of this shirt. You can see how it's looking inside. All right. So the next thing is for us to apply um, pepper gum. I like using pepper gum on things like this. For apply pepper gum on this side, I'm going to mark. Yes, apply pepper gum here. All right. So we've applied a bag on and this is how it's looking. So the next thing we're going to do is to is to sew and turn. We are sewing on the good side to turn it into the bad side. So so we place this lapel on our good side of the shirt. We are sewing to turn into the bad side. All right, please don't get don't get lost. We are the the lapel which we gum now. We have placed it on the good side i'm repeating on the good side of the shirt so that we sew and turn it into the back side all right so you can see i'm sewing it i'll fast forward at this point i'll fast forward so that we don't waste much time So you see we are done with with this right here so the next thing we're going to do is to notch it so, and why do we notch so that when we turn it in it will lie flat whenever you've sewn something that is curved something that is round you you you, you notch it all right so that you turn, when you turn it it will turn easily and it will be looking flat all right that's why you notch like this so the same thing we've done to this left side i'm going to do it to the right side of the shirt the right piece of the shirt the same thing we have done here we'll replicate it on the right piece of the shirt all right after that we'll go to the table and we will press it very well to get the shape of what we are looking for so you see we're going to turn it out all right so how it's looking so you see the way i sew it on the part that has gum that is where i sew it and we'll turn it out but we'll go to the table to do this much more easier and um, simple so you see like i said turn it out very well and then we'll press it all right it's quite simple it's not difficult at all make sure i give it good ironing let the the seam parts not be showing in front the seam line shouldn't show in front all right So you make sure you iron it carefully and properly. All right, so we bring our right side piece and we bring two of them together and remember the notch we made down here look at it here at the end of the the, the, the shirt here this does the notch should match you can see it should match so as to get the accurate size of the shirt let the notch match 
so you can see how it is now uh, you notice that i didn't apply the we're using pins to hold it together we're using pins to hold it together so you notice i didn't apply the the the, the color on the edge of the left the the the, the piece that has the buttons um i don't want it all right so i'm going to join the shoulder of both the back and the front piece together i'm going to join the shoulder of both the back and the front piece together so this is the bad side of the fabric the bad side of the fabric is facing the other second bad side as you can see and while stitching it, you see this is the good side outside, the good, the front good side outside, the back good side outside. So you see, while placing the front on the back, I've left allowance of like a three quarter inch. A three quarter inch allowance, I've left it there. So that I'm going to stitch it. Look carefully. I'm going to stitch it, leaving a three quarter inch allowance, such that I'm going to use it to turn the the neck behind that's why i left that three quarter inch that quarter inch allowance there so that will use, use it to turn my back piece all right very important so you can see how it's looking so i'm going to do the same thing on the right side the other side of the of the shoulder just watch closely, it's still the same thing I'm going to do, very simple. I'm going to do the same thing here, right? So, without wasting time, we'll shift it to the back. Then we'll stitch it. So, we are done stitching the both sides of the shoulders. Next thing to do is now to to to, to turn our yoke. We we'll turn the neck first. You see the allowance, the, the quarter inch allowance are left there. If you can check where you see that the quarter inch allowance are left, you can see. I'm going to now sew on it so as to turn the yoke. All right. Also, that is the neck part I'm sewing now. On that quarter inch allowance is the neck part I'm sewing. So I'm sewing it on that quarter inch allowance, nothing more than the quarter inch allowance. It's quite simple, if you can just follow up. So, we are, I want to be sure that I'm not stitching the front part of the shirt at the extreme end here, so that when I turn it out, it will turn very well, alright. So, I'm done with this, right, the next thing is for us to, to place, to stitch the yoke to our back piece. Of the shirt as you can see turning it out you can see how neatly it's looking I'm done turning the neck I believe it's quite simple and you should understand <laughs> it's quite simple if you're enjoying this video if it's making sense please hit the subscribe button give me a thumb up like the video share the video I would really appreciate if you can do that I would really appreciate all right the more views I get the more the video will be recommended for so many others to watch so i appreciate if you can like the video even as you watch thank you so much so we're going to ensure that our yoke you know is flat all right this is one thing you're, you must not also joke with your yoke ensure that it is flat it is flat it is flat ensure that it's flat before you start stitching and as you are stitching ensure that it's flat and just watch where i'm stitching 
I'm stitching on the edge of the fabric, all right? So it gives beauty when your, your stitches are neatly arranged at the edge of whatever you are stitching, all right? It's, it gives beauty and it looks standard, all right? Want to be sure that it's very flat and there's no issue anywhere. And so the next thing is for us to press to press it very well so that we don't have any issues. Press it very well. Also press the neck behind very well to make sure it is properly aligned. Right. We press the yoke line. I mean, this is quite simple. So you can see how our shirt is already turning out. You can see our shirt is coming out very simple you can see the, the, the crossing how simple it's looking the overlapping rather that's how the overlapping is looking very very simple and fine so next thing for us to do is to stitch the the sleeves all right and the sleeves of a shirt the long sleeves they they have both the left and the right side okay I have both the left and the right side so there's a notch here on the left side there's a notch here so i'm going to have this notch on the on the sleeve and the notch on the body of the shirt i'm going to keep them to match each other look at the notches there the two of them that's what i'm going to start stitching hope you can see that very well So the same thing I'm doing on the on the on the right on the left side of this sleeve, I'm going to do the same thing on the right side of the sleeve. Okay, so my, I'm not going to be showing the right side of the sleeve because whatever I'm doing on the left side of this sleeve is the same thing I'm going to do on the right side of the sleeve. Yep, so we are done with one side, we will fold the, we will stitch the second side of the sleeve as well, carefully. And when we are done with this second, I just wanted to observe how I'm stitching it, okay, that's why I didn't fast forward. And when we are done with this second side, we will move to, this, to the right hand side of the, of the shirt as well. And that sleeve I'm not going to show because the same thing we are doing here that we still apply, we replicate, right? So <clears throat> I won't be showing us <clears throat> when I'm stitching, sorry, when I'm stitching the right sleeve, the right hand sleeve. Just watch it closely and you see that I'm stitching it. I hope it's clear enough for you to see. I'm stitching on half inch allowance, all right? I have a little excess on the sleeve here, but I think it's, it's, bad, it's okay. It's better to have a little excess than to have it shortened, all right? So you can see I've finished this, the left hand sleeve. I'm going to do the same thing I've done here. You can see how flat it's looking. You can see I'll do the same thing on the second side, all right? And so we are done with that. Stitching the second side. And I've weaved my shirt neatly. The next thing is for us to join is so we're going to locate our boss. Our boss measurement is 38, that is 19. 38 by 2, that is 19. So we're going to stitch the, the, the chest. We're going to join the shirt. And we need to know the size of our chest, all right? That's why I measured the chest there. Into the size of our chest. The chest measurement we are using. And for this shirt, the chest measurement is 
38 which is divided by 2 we give you 19 all right so i'm going to stitch on about three quarter inch allowance here it's a bit more than half inch the allowance i have is a bit more than half inch all right it's a bit more than half inch three quarter inch allowance so we'll stitch all the way to the end and what, what i'm doing on this side is the same thing i'll do on the second side so i'll not be shown on the second side whatever i stitch here, the same thing i'm going to stitch on the second side of the shirt so that's how we're going to do it <clears throat> so after stitching both sides the next thing is for us to go over to the table and hem the side vents the down of the shirt <coughs> sorry so you can see our shirt here looking this is the, the overlapping side the left side that is overlapping you can see how it's looking very simple if i want to remove this pin now you see the down part as well you can see that is the down part you can see it covering very well inside <coughs> and the left side of the shirt overlapping very well so this is quite simple okay it's quite simple if you follow what we've been doing right from when we began cutting down to this point i believe that you should be able to produce something much more better than this all right because it's quite simple trust me very simple so if you enjoyed this video if this video made sense please hit the subscribe button turn your notification bell on thanks for watching welcome to not fashion hub thank you